All right, guys, what's going on? Big Dre back with you guys in another video for the Gear Wave channel. Um, and this is the treat that I was talking about last week um, in the Helly Hansen piece that I wanted to bring to you guys. Um, this is the Helly Hansen Odin Vior down hooded jacket, all right? 850 fill down jacket. which is very unique and it caught my eye for a few reasons, all right? Last the size cuffs here at the at the wrist, they they are a little bit loose. That's the one thing that I am not liking about the last size cuffs this winter um, is that a lot of them are loose and um, you know, they really need to be tight. They are, have them be tight enough where you kind of have to push your hands through uh, to get your hand through the sleeve because after a while of you taking it off and every time you take off the jacket you're going to pull the cuff and it's going to stretch it out so over time the cuffs are going to stretch out even more and they're going to let air in so either you're going to do a velcro which is not really needed on a piece like this or you're going to do a cuff but if you're going to do the cuff let it be tight all right so this to the plain eye just looking at it, it looks like a basic down hooded jacket but what's unique about this jacket is that it has its own unique airflow system all right L look at the baffles okay. you have vents in one two three and four rows of the jacket in the back. And to push that air through, you have a set of mini pit zips right here on each side of the jacket. Which I have no idea why more down manufacturers, more outerwear manufacturers don't employ a system like this. In addition, come on in, in addition to that, you have a nice little hard fleece here, neoprene, also to add to the escape of uh, hot air and vapor from the body. So very, very unique. And actually, let me show you the inside again. All right. Tape the cross just so that there's some durability to the system. I like the lime green pieces inside, inside the hood and at the bottom. And this jacket is a 850 fill jacket, but the, the nylon is a 25 denier. So it's a little bit thicker than what we've been seeing on other down jackets. Um, usually we see, like if you look at the micro puff from Patagonia, you see about 10 denier or the uh, Ghost Whisper from Mountain Hardware. Um, and you might see 20 denier on some other manufacturers, but this is a 25D fabric. So it's a, it's a bit more, it's a bit thicker than what we've become to know, but it's a great jacket. Napoleon pocket here, which is very nice, very warm. This is cut though, uh, the XL, the chest is cut at about 47 inches, which is an inch or two below what is standard. Usually in an XL, in a lot of the manufacturers, you're gonna see it at 48, maybe 49 inches. Um, so this is cut, just a, it's not a slim cut per se, but the way they cut this jacket in the chest is a 47. So be mindful of that if you're ordering. Check the website. And another thing with this jacket is that they discontinued the jacket. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, unfortunately, we haven't had any time to really test this in cold weather. I tested it maybe for one day in cold weather, and it's pretty warm. Um, 
but I haven't had extensive testing, but I really wanted to get it on the channel because I think it's a unique jacket, and I think a lot of other manufacturers need to start thinking about employing some pit zips into their down products because, you know, the down jacket is great. It's super light. It's super warm, but sometimes when you're in it and you're moving around, um, or maybe if you're indoors for an extended amount of time with the jacket, um, you know, maybe at a mall or a store or something like that, it might get a little bit too warm for you, even when you unzip the jacket. Uh, so I love that they've employed this, uh, these vents from the front. Air will go through, right? And you can feel it pushing out through the back of the jacket. Take a look at the back of the jacket. As air goes through, as air goes through the uh, pockets here, the vents, you can feel it escape a little bit through the back. It's a very smart system. I like what they did. Um, I like the jacket. It's a little bit cut too small for me, unfortunately. But, um, you know, I want to bring you guys this jacket on the channel. Check the hood. There is no adjustment on the back of the hood, but they've made the hood a bit shallow. And then giving you two adjustments here, which I love. All right? So you can see. Hood cinches down perfectly, and they've even given you a little separate stuff sack with the jacket as well. All right, pockets are just plain; they're not fleece lined at all, but still warm. They're still pretty big. All right, you do have a. Hem lock right here, cord lock right here, which is nice to cinch in the heat. The jacket overall feels good. Uh, it's, it's, it's fit a little bit closer to me, but uh, overall the jacket feels good, man. Right, Heli Hansen Odin Vior down jacket with pit zips. All right, giving you guys a, a first look here on the Gear Wave channel. If you have any questions about the jacket, if you have the jacket, let me know if you're if it's you know what you're expecting it to be, if it's warm, if you're uh, not pleased with the jacket. Uh, you know, from what I'm seeing, the jacket seems like it's you know, conceptually a good idea. I don't know why they're discontinuing it, but, um, you know, from what I'm seeing, it's a nice jacket. It is DWR coated as well, so it will shed some snow and some light rain. Um, I don't think the down is coated with anything or hydrophobic, but uh, the uh, shell is. All right, guys, take one more look. Heli Hansen Odin Vior down hooded jacket. This is a major go, man. Major, major go. All right, guys. Hit me up on the channel. Let me know if you have the jacket. Let me know if you like the jacket. Um, let me know if you have any questions about the jacket. Um, and we're here, man. Gear Wave 2020. Peace.